It's every young footballer's dream. Being signed by one of the biggest clubs in the world. Special, very special. Cambiasso. 7,000 boys applied. I could easily be the next Theo Walcott. I am football's next star. That's I'm what they're looking for. To sum it up in two words, my dream. But only one will win a professional contract with Jose Mourinho's Inter Milan. Lovely ball through to Luis Figo! To have a possibility of joining a club like Inter Milan, I think is a, is a dream for them. And let them, first of all, enjoy and after that fight for their dream. Can Jamie Redknapp help find football's next star? For any boy that dreams of becoming a professional footballer, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Fight to be football's next star starts here. Thousands of young players across the UK and Ireland have been handed the chance to prove they're talented enough to win a contract with world football giants into Milan. Give me a football and I'll show you what I can do. That's it. One training session. One training session. That's all I need. I am the next Patrick Vieira. Look at watch my face. <laughs> but by the end of this show, only ten boys will remain. Leading the search for an undiscovered new star is ex-England and Liverpool player Jamie Redknapp. If I was 16 now and had this opportunity to maybe go and play for Inter Milan, what a dream it is. It's an opportunity of a lifetime for somebody. But this isn't just about footballing ability. It also means moving away from family and friends and starting a new life in Italy because the 10 football's next star finalists will be living in this stunning Italian villa by Lake Como and training daily at a world-class facility. Culturally, of course, there are differences between the Latin people and you. The way of life, the way of live the day by day is different, is completely different. It's a big challenge. Even experienced British footballers have struggled in Italy. I think in this situation, you're not just looking for a player, you're looking for someone who's going to be able to take on a, a different culture. It's OK, you give the kid the contracts, and if he goes over to Italy and he really struggles to, to blend in with the other kids, it's a waste of time. The Italian way has always been, we have the best. Um, English players aren't probably going to be suited for our game. So this is where it's going to be, uh, it's, it's a challenge for, uh, for our country to say, listen, we have got some good players here, and hopefully they can go there and show they can be a success. I'm just pleased I've not got to be the one that picks the player. I, you know, the, the pressure is on the Inter Milan coaches and, uh, and they won't want the wrath of Jose Mourinho if they get it wrong. Making the decisions about who's good enough and who isn't are Jose Mourinho's representatives, Paolo Miliavaca and Marco Monti, two of Inter's top youth coaches. First, they'll select the best 40 at roadshows up and down the British Isles. Then, crucial matches will decide the 10 players they'll take to Italy. The most important thing is the quality, the, the technical quality of the, the younger player. And now, football is changing. It's important also physical quality. You can see that one. <laughs> Enough physical condition to play football. I compare myself to Mascherano, a bit aggressive, but can pass the ball as well. Every time when I arrive a player with the glasses, it's not a football player. 16-year-old Ashley Green isn't asking if he's good enough for Inter Milan. He wonders if Inter Milan is good enough for him. Someone said to me, who would you want to be the next? And it's not Ronaldo, Ronaldinho or Beckham, it's me. I mean, I'd rather be the next Ashley. Ashley's dad predicts a bright future. His main thing is to get into a team, obviously, to start with. And he said if he was approached by any premiership club, he'd probably go for that. Because <laughs> everybody's got to start somewhere. He knows he can be big. He aspires to be one of the biggest players, if not the biggest player, like, like Ronaldo sort of thing. He'd like to be something like him. Probably worth that amount of money as well, I should imagine. Now it's up to Ashley to dazzle the Italian coaches with his skills. Kiki. 
Coach Paolo has seen plenty of players with big dreams. No, he's not big enough for the player. Maybe, maybe a mistake, eh? but usually, usually, usually it's not like this. For Ashley, it's not so much into Milan. Instead, it's into Dad's van. I don't know what they were looking for at the end of the day, which is what I said to start with. I mean, obviously I'm gutted because, he, you know, like I said, it was his dream. And now the dream is at the end. Um, what can I say? I mean, Inter Milan, Inter Milan just lost out, really. Next to face the coaches is 16-year-old Kevin Lima. Good lad. He's accompanied by his mentor, Andy, from London's Samba Soccer School. Kevin hopes he's the type of player Inter Milan is looking for. I like that. Zinc, powerful, yeah, isn't he? Good two. You know what else I like as well? He took two of his left, two of his right. So you obviously teach them. Yeah, left the, and right. The basics. Yeah. What? Talk to me. Left foot, right foot, powerful. <laughs> that last one. There was no keeper. I put the keeper in the back of the net. <laughs> did you enjoy that? Yeah. Good. They did ever so well. Kevin is one of Andy's star pupils, who's already discovered football can be life changing. Growing up on a West London estate, Kevin found himself in with the wrong crowd. I used to get in trouble a lot with the police and all of that. And he um, used to always go out, get into trouble with people, get into fights. It's an all too familiar story for his coach. Definitely a concrete jungle around you. you know, there's estates in every direction that you're looking at. So there's lots of kids roaming around. No control, no nothing with them. And it's only a matter of time before they have to get, either get dared or get pressured to do something more daring each time. For Kevin, enrolling at Samba Soccer School changed everything. With Samba, I've loved it every moment I've been there for the last two years. Great experience. Obviously, Andy himself, great man. Helps you with everything that you need in life. And loved every single moment. But the school isn't just about playing football. Straight into a Romario We do have rules if you're at school. You must be eighth. All I can say is that Andy can change people's life, and it's obviously changed mine, and especially my football abilities. What they do there with Kevin is unbelievable. You know, with a, if you don't look after yourself, if you don't do have the right grades, if you don't work hard enough at school, you can't play football. I mean, that is a way to hurt a kid because they want to play football every day if they can. The opportunity, if he got that contract to Inter Milan, it would be like what that would do for his life. He's come up the hard way. Now Kevin must prove he has the talent Inter are looking for. So far, so good. The quality of the match encourages Jamie. The guys have been really pleased with the standard this afternoon. I think it's certainly improved since the morning and I just from listening to him I feel there's there's more yeses than maybes which are, is, a, is a good sign would you agree? Oh, yeah, yeah. Kevin must hope he's one of those yeses <laughs> after the trial game the coaches decide who's in and who's out five eight zero eight Gregory Five five seven five, Alex. Those guys sitting down. Thanks for coming and good luck for the future. It's heartbreak for Kevin. Good luck, son. You did yourself proud. You did us proud too. So that's all good. That's all that matters. Inter have said no, but Andy still hopes his player has a bright future. I think the whole day was fantastic. I think it's a fantastic experience for anyone that's taking part. And we're just a little bit unlucky that we, uh, this time round, we didn't, we didn't have anyone who was successful. But all day long, he's been recognised as talented. So he's just going to make us now. We'll just home in on a few more things that we can work on. And hopefully the next one, we, uh, he gets picked. We're going to walk away from here with our heads held high. Good night, guys. The search for football's next star continues.
Coming up on Football's Next Star, the players desperate to be in the final 40. All I don't want to do is just play football, sign for someone now. I'm, I think I'm very ready for it. The Football's Next Star roadshows are looking for undiscovered talent all over the UK and Ireland. Jamie Redknapp is on the hunt for a special player, one that can handle moving away from home and winning a contract in Milan with Italian champions Inter. Italian coaches Paolo and Marco have crossed the Irish Sea. So we can put this one here. Ireland has only a handful of professional clubs, but it might just provide